Hey guys, I'm Dan. I am actually going to grade some cards. I'll be showing you guys what I'm grading. We have a Renbun Yama Bowman Best Autograph. Spellbound, which is numbered out of 10. This card, you guys have seen me pulling it. Revolution, out of 75. Huge card, Sunburst. I'll be auto authenticating my Robinson cards right here. Two of them. Some Wemby singles. Okay, plenty of them. I got them raw. I'm trying to grade it. This is one that I put myself. Bowman Best Refractor. This is the base card. Finest that we've put recently. Jordan Skybox. Fleer. Upper deck. A couple of Jordan base. Hopefully, you can get some nines or and tens that would be nice tops go yeah sorry this is <laughs> a little bit tough as you can see hoops flare more flare 90 flare 91 flare the last one is actually uh, i think this is in the 90s skybox i think 89 skybox so yep very cool i'll be heading over to the shop right now okay guys it's about one month later i'm here to collect my express card so Back to this store called Concept City. Hey guys, I'm Dan, NBA Cards Collector from Singapore. Today, I will be doing my first PSA return review right here, okay? So I've basically submitted two groups of cards, okay? This one to a grading company known as Oxley Grading in Singapore and the other one which is known as Concept Grading. They came back around the same time. I will talk more about these two grading companies um, later in the video, so stay tuned, okay? So let's focus on this stack first. Majority of my submission are all Wemby cards. I'm a Spurs fan, Wemby collector. But right here, there are a couple of Jordan cards right over here. So I thought we should go through this together first, okay? I have submitted PSA value bulk as well as some Express cards. The Express cards, I have reviewed them in my you know, YouTube shots and IG stories. So check this out. So this is basically um, Victor Webanyama Bowman Best Refractor. We've got a Gen Min 10, which is really cool. And this is a Spellbound, which is numbered out of 10, if I'm not wrong. Whereas the um, number, I think is right over here, is numbered out of 10. Too bad we got a Gen, I mean, we got a Mint 9, but it's not too bad. The other one, um, I got this raw from eBay and I graded it. It came back as a mint 9. Too bad. This is a wonderful card. Gorgeous card. Pretty rare. And this is another one. Boom and Bass. But this is not a refractor. So pretty cool. We managed to get both the autographs in Gen Min 10. So let's have a look at this one. This deck first. I have seen some of the grades but not all of them. So I really do not know. So let's um have a look. So you guys should know that I put this card in my first pack, if I'm not wrong, Revolution, beautiful card. I feel this should be 9 or 10. So let's have a look. Yep, Gem Min 10, beautiful, numbered out of 75. Okay, I'm going to put all the 10s right over here and let's see how many 10s we've got. So we've got a couple of Prisms. Okay, Prism is it's pretty well known for being hard to grid. So this one... I'm not too sure. It should be like a 10 or 9. Centering looks a little bit off right here. Okay, if you look at the back, centering is not perfect. And we've got, yep, we got a 9. Yep, I think that is expected. It will be cool to get it, I mean, to get um a 10. We have another one right over here. So let's see. This one, I think the centering is actually better. But the back is not very good as well so it should be a nine as well 
Yep, it's, 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 it's a nine. I expected it. I expected it. So, not too disappointed. Let's have a look at this. Okay, pretty good centering on the front. The back seems to be decent, but slightly off as well. So it should be a nine as well. <laughs> yep, a nine. Let's have a look at. Hopefully, we can get a ten. Okay, this one, the centering is off. So I'm thinking this should be a 9 as well. Yep. We have how many more prisms? We have um, two more prisms. Let's hope to get one 10, please. Okay, the centering of the front looks really good. The back looks slightly more towards the, the right. So possibly a 9 as well. Oh, it's a 10. That's really inconsistent. Hmm. Okay. But I I'm glad we got a 10. Okay, what about this one? Centering on the front looks very good. The back looks decent as well. I think this could be a 10 as well. It's a 9. Okay. Yep, I think it really depends on the person's mood as well. So let's have a look at this. This is a Bowman Best Refractor. I put this myself, so um, it looks really good. Hopefully, it comes back a 10. I'm hoping for a 10. Yep, cool. Refractor Bowman Best. Very nice. That's a 10. Oh, I should be putting the 10 right over there. Okay, and here's another one. This is the non-refractor version. This one, it's pretty good. Pretty clean, I would say. Very, very clean. I think it should be a 10 or 9. 8! Seriously? Okay. I'm not too sure how it got an 8. Now we are going into the Michael Jordan area, okay? So we've got our 1992 Tops Michael Jordan. All of these cards that you guys have seen me pull on my channel. So I think this is a... A pretty decent condition. I'm thinking this could be like a 10 or 9. 9. Okay, not too bad. This is the one that I've um, posted um, a reel on IG and my YouTube shots. So we basically got this in our last pack. Michael Jordan 1993 hoops. Beautiful card. He's like grabbing a rebound. Uh, I think that's Kersey Hawkins. I'm not too sure. That's Bill Cut right at the back. Beautiful card, Michael Jeffrey Jordan. This, I mean, the corner is not fantastic. So I think this could be an 8 or 9. 10. Okay, I'll take that. That's nice. And here we have a 1993 Fleer Michael Jordan. Centering is definitely off, so there's no way this could be a 10. You can see it's more towards... The right, okay, it's a little bit yellowish as, as well, so it could be a 7, 7 to 8, 8, yep, expected. Next, we have the upper deck all-star checklist, you can see the centering is not good. It's really hard to grade the 1990s cards because of majority of the centering are really bad. You can, um, where is there like a hair inside? Okay, you can clearly tell it's more towards... The left, so there's no way this could be a nine or or eight. Oh, okay, we managed to get a nine. It's not too bad. Tops archives, okay, beautiful card. We put this on the channel together. Okay, let's see, let's see. It's a little bit yellowish. The centering is not good as well. Eight. Um, I'm pretty new to grading, so. Please forgive me, because a lot of my cuts are, are in 8 condition. Tops go Michael Jordan, but I just want them to be in a slab. Not for a resale, it's basically for my personal PC. Let's have a look. Uh, Mint 9. Okay, let's have a look. I have plenty of Panini Instant. I might do a giveaway when we reach like a, a thousand subscribers, so stay tuned for that. Tops Finders with coding. I think this cut is... um. It's pretty clean. The corners are sharp. I think the surface is pretty good as well. So I'm pretty hopeful for this. Hope you can get a 10. 
<laughs> what a seven? Okay, okay. The the centering at the back is really bad. So, you know, when I submitted this card, I knew I knew majority of them will not be a ten. But I I still wanted to submit it. I just want an experience. But the next time when I'm submitting, I'll be more careful because it's not cheap submitting cards in Singapore. Nineteen ninety two Fleer Michael Jordan. Centering is good, but there's a little ding in the corner, so I'm think this could be a seven. Okay. Nineteen ninety one Skybox, beautiful card. This is nostalgic. I really love this card. Um. Is kind of yellowish, so seven. I'm gonna think this is a seven, at most an eight, a ten. Okay, very nice, unexpected. And we got a nineteen ninety three, a nineteen ninety two Fleer, award winners Michael Jordan. Let's see this one. This one is pretty clean. It's very very clean. So I'm gonna be av ambitious. Let's go for a ten. A nine, all right, not too bad. This is the um nineteen ninety skybox. If I'm not wrong, yep, beautiful card. This is one of my favorite Michael Jordan cards. Yep, so ha have a look. It's a nine, not too bad. Nineteen ninety one Fleer, the blue color version, Michael Jordan team leader. Let's have a look. This is a very clean card. I put this myself. I'm going with a nine. Eight. Too many eights and seven. I think a lot of you pro graders will be <laughs> laughing out loud. 1990 Fleer. One of my very, very favorite cards. Yep, beautiful. I'm hoping to get a nine at least for this. Oh, nice. Ten. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So we are done with the first tag. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six gem mean ten right here. Not too bad. Not too bad. If you include this express card, that will be um seven. Not too bad. I mean I expected expected it. So I'm not too upset, you know, if they're not ten, so because I'm not selling them. Okay, this is the um Victor Ambanyama Bowman. Refractor. Let's hope for a good grid. The previous one, I think we got a 10, right? Did we get a 10? Oh, yes, we got a 10. A Refractor 10. Hopefully, we can get a 10 for this one as well. 8? I put this myself. Okay. That's too bad. Okay, next. Panini Instant. All the cuts are super clean. Purchase them off Panini website, Draft Night. 10. That's awesome. That's really, really awesome. Okay, I'm going to put the 10s right here. Here's another one. I'll be doing a giveaway when we reach a 1,000 subscriber. I promise to give... I know this is not a big card. It's just a Panini instant. But do you guys know that this is actually... There's like 30,000 of this produced. Okay? So the pop count of the 10 will not exceed 30,000. I mean, not exceed 31,000. And the prism, the population count of the gem min 10 is already over 30,000. So this card, I feel, is actually more rare than the prism base card. But of course, I know that prism, everybody loves it. Gem min 10. Cool. Are we going to get another gem min 10? Another one. Awesome. Another Victor Wembanyama draft night. Gen Min 10 again. That's nice. But yeah, they are pretty inconsistent. This is a, has a little ding right here. And I got a, got a 10. So I feel it really depends on the grader's mood as well. Here's another one. Perhaps the grader is um, a Spurs fan. Another Gen Min 10. Awesome. Not complaining. It's another one. Gem Min 10. Cool. Okay. I I remember I was pretty 
particular when I was submitting these cards because I, I have plenty of them and I only want to submit the best. For the Jordans, I have very limited. I just want them to be in a slab. So there was no QC, whatever. I just want them to be in a slab. Doesn't matter if they are Gem Min 10 or 7 or 8. I just want them to be in a slab. Okay, very nice. It's another one. And a 10 again. Wow. All of these are in Gem Min 10. Very cool. So this is the Top Snow Draft Night card. Okay, let's have a look. It's a very clean card. We got this directly from Top Snow from Top's website. Gem Min 10 again. Awesome stuff. And here's another one. This is a very clean card. Very, very clean. So it should be a 10 as well. There you go. I'll be surprised if it's not a 10. Here's another one. Very, very clean. The corners are sharp. Centering, of course, is, is good. So it's going to be a gem mint 10 as well. What about this one? Super clean as well. Another 10. We are on a roll. Here's another one. Extremely clean as well. Okay. Gem Min 10. Here's another one. Yeah, I don't think any of them will get below like a 10 or something like that. Yep. Maybe poorest it has to be a 9. Here's another one. Super clean. All the corners are really sharp. Yep, all 10s, perfect 10s. Okay, this one is very sharp as well. Super sharp, so it's going to be a 10. What? Is it? No, <laughs> no way. Poor one. How, How can this be one? This card is flawless. Pretty sure they made a mistake, guys. How can this be a one? I have to make a YouTube shot on this. One? What's wrong with this card? It's super clean. No way. It has to be a mistake, guys. It has to be a mistake. <laughs> this is this is a rare card. Poor one. How do you even manage to get a poor one? The surface is unbelievable. Is that a crease? I don't see anything wrong with this card at all. Unbelievable. Okay, Gem Min 10 and our last one. Here's another 10. Yep, so that's all guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this PSA return video. So I'm pretty happy with it. I managed to get these two express cards in 10s. These two great cards in 9. Yeah, pretty happy. And this one is the one that I put myself. So it means a lot. To have it graded. Yeah. All of these cards were put by my own. Except for the prism. I put zero MBs in prism. You guys have seen me putting this. And yeah. Pretty, pretty happy. Pretty glad with, um, with this. So I graded with two companies. One is known as Oxley Grading. And the other one is known as, known as Concept Grading. Um, I will give you my honest opinion. Concept grading, it's much better. Their return rate is actually much faster. It took about one and a half months after I submit to get it back. For Oxley grading, it took close to like two to three months for me to get back the cards. And in terms of technology, concept grading actually has the modern technology Whenever there is um, an update, I will receive a notification in my email telling that my cards has been received by PSA. 
they're grading it so they provide lots of updates for Oxley grading they give you a pin code you have to log into the website you have to key in a pin code and then you have to check the status yourself even when it's up for collection you won't be notified you're supposed to join their own tele telegram group and you're supposed to go and find out when your cards are going to be released okay so for me concept grading i'm definitely going back to concept grading because i think they are cheaper they are faster and they have more modern technology oxley grading was the very first grader in singapore to get the um official licensee of psa so they have a huge customer base but there was a huge delay in my my cards because they were mixing up with um they were they were actually bundling it together with the TCG Pokemon card, so they came back late, and it's really difficult to to keep checking when are my cards returning back. I have to send messages for concept grading. There's actually no fuss at all. Whenever you there's an update, for example, when the graders are grading, I will receive a notification. When it's up for collection, I will receive a notification immediately. So it's very good. So I'll definitely be back to concept grading all right so thanks for watching this and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye